the chosen titles from Smiley Special Collections Unit bring to our attention three works that provide both visual and conceptual presentation of paradise and Muslim imagination. These works address themes related to the concept of paradise that may not always seem directly related to the concept, but in the literary tradition of Islamic world in general and Persian literature in particular, they are featured in various forms. These themes include spiritual experience of union with the divine, which is the mystical interpretation of paradise in Sufi literature. The Mi'raj, Prophet Muhammad's experience of ascension to heaven, is a theme that has repeatedly inspired literary and intellectual productions among Muslim authors. From a broader religious perspective, certain Islamic rituals, such as prayers, are designed and performed in the hope that it will lead them to paradise. In our selection of manuscripts, we have included texts that cover this aspect of Muslim culture as well. Zad ul Ma'ad, Book of Shi'i Prayers. The prayers and invocations in this text are ascribed to the Prophet and the Shi'i Imams. These prayers are intended for the sacred occasions of the year, according to the Islamic calendar. Majlisi wrote this book in 1695 in Isfahan during the reign of Sultan Hussein Safavi. In one of the prayers, the reward of entering paradise is described as follows. Then God Almighty guides the servant to paradise. So the angels of God meet him with love and dignity and they carry him on beams of light and humble horses. He arrives at a bliss that does not end and a house that does not disappear. Its inhabitants do not have to leave. The youths do not grow old, and the children do not turn old. Its happiness and feasts do not end. Its newness does not perish, and its happiness does not turn into sorrow. Urdu Commentary on Rumi's Masnavi This manuscript is a Sufi work in Urdu on certain mystical notions in Rumi's Masnavi. The author of the text is unknown, but it seems that he was well versed in Islamic mystical tradition and Persian literature. The text contains numerous quotations from Rumi's Masnavi, the Quran and the Hadith. It begins with an interpretation of a story in the fifth chapter of Masnavi about Prophet Muhammad. There are 10 miniatures in this manuscript in total, which belong to the Indian school. The above miniature depicts a private feast at the presence of a king in nature. The combination of shining colors on a dark base and floral decorations, along with the raised glasses of wine, resonate with descriptions of paradise in the Quran. Ma'arij al Nabuwa fi Madarij al Futuwa. This work contains an extensive introduction, four chapters, and an epilogue. According to Farahi himself, he began a series of 50 lectures on the life and the conduct of the Prophet in the Friday Mosque of Herat for the nobles and dignitaries of the city. He was encouraged to arrange and revise his lectures, which he compiled in four volumes. He gave the present title to the work because of the detail that he accorded to the Prophet's Mi'raj, Ascendance to Heaven. In a passage on the interpretation of the Quranic verse, and he was at a distance of but two bow lengths or even nearer, he writes that on the occasion of Mi'raj, the Prophet became as a mirror in which he could see the eternal beauty of the divine in that mirror. The items on display from the Aga Khan Library include a verse from the Qur'an, the Muslim Holy Scripture, as well as selections from two poetic works, Mantiq al or The Conference of the Birds, of Fariduddin Attar, 
and Bali Jibril or Gabriel's wing are Muhammad Iqbal. While the verse chosen from the Quran gives us a glimpse of the Quranic description of paradise, the other two selected works highlight the metaphorical and allegorical usage of the concept of paradise in Muslim poetic literature. Quran Manuscript The folios are from the second volume of a two-volume Quranic manuscript completed on 14 Shaban 1302 or 1884 by the scribe Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman al-Sinhaji al-Fasi. The Quranic description of paradise are manifold and appear in over 150 of verses. However, the basic term for the concept is Jannah, meaning garden, epitomized in chapter 98, verse 8. Their reward is with Allah, gardens of eternity, beneath which rivers flow. They will dwell therein forever. Allah well pleased with them, and they with Him. All this for such as fear their Lord and cherish Him. Mantiq Tair, the Conference of the Birds. This lithograph edition of Mantiq Tair, or the Conference of the Birds, was published in Iran in 1356 or 1937 and has come to the Aga Khan Library as part of a donation from Dr. Farhad Daftari. For the believer, life is a journey. An ultimate reward for a life well lived is being granted a place in paradise and meeting the Supreme Master. In his masterpiece, the famous Persian Sufi poet Fariduddin Attar tells the story of the journey of the soul's ascent to God through an allegory of birds in their search for enlightenment for the Supreme Master. Bala Jibril or Gabriel's Wing. Originally published in 1935, this special handwritten edition of Bala Jibril was produced by the famous calligrapher Abdul Majid Parveen Rakam, 1891-1949. One of the few high-profile calligraphers personally selected by Iqbal for his work. The copy and display was originally presented in 1958 by the Iqbal Academy Lahore to Professor Animali Shimil and was part of her private collection that she bequeathed to the Aga Khan Library through her student, now Professor Ali Asani of Harvard. Bala Jibril arguably represents the apogee of Iqbal's poetry and occupies a very important position in the corpus of his works. The collection of poetry contains odes, quatrains, and poems with specific titles. In the poem, on display, Mullah or Bahisht, Priest and Paradise, Iqbal complains to God, Allah, that a priest does not deserve the supreme place in paradise. A priest will not know how to appreciate the peace and blessings of paradise or Jannah. Is all he knows is how to create divisions and so hatred. Mm-hmm.